be taking subscribers away and stuff, all that kind of junk, man. It's, it's crazy, man, what YouTube be doing. I don't know what's going on, but I don't, I'm not going to worry about it too much because it is what it is. They clearly trying to block gun content. And I think all the guys who are big tubers and stuff, they're kind of safe, it seems to be. And uh, I mean, you got a whole bunch of views and subscribers. It seems like they don't really mess with you. Or maybe they do. I don't know if one of you big gun tubers watching this, maybe you want to chime in. Or are they messing with your subscribers and stuff? You know, because those little guys, well, I think we all can contest. They'd be taking away some of our uh, subscribers and stuff. So uh, it's just really amazing that how they just want to block this two-way content. But a little local update, man. San Diego weather's back to normal. We we sitting around 75 at 77 on the coast, and then inland still about 85, 90. But I don't know if y'all recently heard about the uh, police officer got got the, Mr. Palmdale police officer up there in Palmdale, California. That's up in Lancaster in the high desert. In case anybody doesn't know, that's like right above. If you were sitting, if you were sitting right down in Los Angeles, downtown Los Angeles, and if you was gonna get to Palmdale, you would go straight up north to the mountains through San Bernardino Mountains, and you'll, you'll be about maybe 40, a 40 minute drive to Palmdale from Los Angeles. So high desert, uh, just give y'all some background on Lancaster, Palmdale area. That's a city where, uh, that was basically where they, when they took out section eight and a lot of the areas in California and the inner cities, those were, that was one of the cities that they, uh, they sent a lot of people with section eight and low income out there. And so, uh, to be honest with you, I think Palmdale, Lancaster, uh, someone can quote me on this. I believe they have more, more uh, verified gangbangers in any city, in, in, I think, in California, so, or maybe Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles County. I mean, there's, there's over, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a, over 20,000 registered gang members up there. So, so, it's a little rough area, but not all areas are rough. You know, like I said, we go up there for softball. Primarily when we were, when we were in rec ball and travel ball, there's not a lot up there, but it's a little bit. So uh, yeah, man, this officer was sitting at the stoplight, man. This, you see, the, I don't know if y'all saw the video, the black car rolled up and just, man, you know. So rest in peace to that officer, man. Like I said, I'm not, I, like I said, I'm not anti law enforcement. I just don't like the dirty cops and the dirty police chiefs and all that stuff. So I don't, I don't that made my heart sink, man. Just you know, I, I know people say, damn, man, you got love for the police. Yeah, I got love for the police, man. We we need the police, man. So I ain't really into all that defund the police i just don't i say i just say defund the bad ones get to keep the good ones there because they do a great job so yeah they but they caught the dude and uh so that's a good thing uh as far as uh down here by the border it's still kind of really really hectic you know uh, a lot of stuff going down in tijuana and around the border always something down by tijuana because that's the that's the um, the port of the main entry so they still out here trying to crack down this fentanyl and you know so if you come to san diego like I said, if you party and you like to, you know, put a little something up your nose every now and then, I wouldn't suggest doing that in Los Angeles and San Diego County because it's all over the place and you might get a bad batch and that'd be your last little root or tutor. You'd be up out of here. But uh, that's pretty much what I got, man, for as far as updates goes. Um, everything now, everything else is pretty much normal around here. So let me tell you what I'm here for, man. So I'll get this out the way. So. Man, you know, like I said, the, the, the red dot, I, I did a little research, you know, so I'm, I think I got to figure out what I'm going to do. This is a clear weapon, by the way, YouTube, just letting you know. This is just a clear mag. There's nothing in this magazine. Nothing in the chamber. The barrel's empty. Nothing up in there. So, but I kind of figured out how to work with it now. Watch a lot of videos. I watched Grand, uh, Grand the Thumb and I watched uh, Tactical High and there's another gentleman older gentleman that was, i saw his video on how to sight in a red dot and preferred uh distance to sight it in at and he likes it at 15 because it gives you better range down at 45 and 50 and further versus sighting it in at 10. i think when they send you these hollow signs i believe they, they sight them in at 25. so i think they're at 25 yards or 20 yards but uh so I'm gonna, when I go to random, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it the way it is, but just make my adjustments on how to, the, with the sight over, sight over board, you know, that, that's the difference. That's the part I was confused of, where the dot's at and then where the barrel's at. So I gotta compensate on that and we get used to doing that. I ain't have a problem with that with irons, but it's just been a little bit of a struggle with this. So, but, so that's what I got, man. So anyway, I'm just make this quick, man. I have another product uh, review that I'm gonna do. Uh, this is uh, something I got in, my buddy Chip. Shout out to Chip, uh, suggested this, and I'm gonna do it all right, right here with my old school knife. And uh, like I said, I like to, I like to do my stuff on film. 
so I can be just as surprised as you guys. Let's see what we got here. I got this off eBay, by the way. So we're going to see what's going on here. Uh, I think this is TACCOM. Y'all see that? That's a pretty cool sticker, man. Shout out to them boys, man. TACCOM. Shout out to them. I don't know who y'all are, but I know now. Oh, that's the company that I bought it from. Duh. But uh, yeah, TACCOM. Okay. So this guy right here, I guess I'll plug them. TACCOM. Check them guys off. And looks like this is a 5% off. Okay. Okay, that ain't bad, man. And what we have here is a Strike Industries uh, Flare Magwell that I'm going to install on this uh, G19 right here. And this will be the final part of this build. And then in the next video, I'll break down the pricing of this expensive build. And uh, it just, I, can, almost, I can tell you guys live, I, not, I'm not live, but I can tell you right now in this video, there will be no more pistol bills, no more pistol bills by Eyes and Ears Tactical. This will be the last build. Uh, am I happy with the build? Sure, I'm happy with it. Uh, will I do it again? Hell no, I wouldn't do it again. No, I don't, I'm not into building pistols. I can see that already. So I'm just going to be buying fully, fully built pistols. And just do a couple little mods if necessary but like i said i'm, I'm mainly a glock guy so i'm, I'm not going to be doing any mods period um uh, as far as the red dot system uh probably won't be doing this no more either this probably i'll probably get one for the 34 quite possibly but that's way down the line because the one i, I want to get a close emitter and i want to make i want to see if the 507c comp if that one if that was a closed emitter, it don't have to be a closed emitter really for competition, I don't think, because you know, you really stuffing in your pants and stuff. But I just want to get a high end red dot for the 34. I don't know which one to go from away for something to roll out next year. Maybe they always roll out new shit. I'm not in no hurry. So this is pretty much the last, uh, the only red dot I'm going to get on my pistol. So, and you know, unless something happens, uh, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put this Magwell on there and we'll see how it goes. Let me open it up so we can see what it looks like. And then I'll, I'm going to do a video on that. While I'm here, I'm just letting you guys know some upcoming content. Uh, see what we got up in here. And, uh, that's the empty box. Gen 3, let, let you guys see that in case you guys were interested. Yeah, Strike Industries. So we'll see how this looks. Got the little tool. I'm going to screw with some pre Loctite on it already. That's not bad. So the packaging looks A1. And here's the Magwell. Let's take a look and see what it looks like. Looking at it off top, it looks very well built. I don't know if this is aircraft aluminum. This is plastic. Yeah, this is plastic. That's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that because the, the price warrants it to be, be plastic. Let me see how this would look. Clear weapon in case somebody just joined. Uh, safe direction. Oops. Ah, oh, shoot. Just knocked my whole camera system out. Just make sure so we can nothing in there safe direction oops so let's see how this would possibly look i'm not going to install it on here so i got a butt plug there i gotta pull that out first that's going to be the first step so this can't even go up in there until that comes out so i can't even kind of see how it's going to look but it matches the color well so i think it's going to be just fine and I'll install that and then uh, be back with a part two of this video. Maybe not a part two, but I'll just be right back. I'll show you guys how this looks when I install it. So uh, y'all just stand by. Until then, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, Strike Industry, Magwell. And I'll let you guys see how it looks when I'll be right back. Peace. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So I installed the uh, Magwell. Let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, here's the plug. I took the plug out. Plug right there. Put the wrench back in. I always do that to my stuff. Whatever I put on, I take off and I put it back in the box so I can remember what I took it off on if I want to swap it out or whatever I want to do. So I'll just shove that back in this box just like that. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So I put it on. This gun is unloaded, by the way. Let me just do that again. Unload it. So let's put it on there. So Strike Industries. 
and go 19 for Glock 19. Then you can see the screw. I thought I was going to have to trim back my toweling grip, but it, it fit in there flush. I didn't want to over screw it in there just enough to get it past where there's no bump on my hand. The Dawson Precision one, the screw kind of sits out right there on that, but it doesn't bother me though. And kind of leave that little space right here in the back, space right there. Yeah, but not too bad, man. It's got the nice little front flared out a little bit so you get a little bit more grip support. You got the strike logo on it. Let's see if I can get a little focus. Yeah, the strike logo. But it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's not the best one. This is a little cheap little $20, $20 one, $20, for $23. But, I mean, it'll, it'll serve the purpose. And, again, if I don't like it, I just take it off. It didn't cost me an arm and leg. Feels pretty good, though. It gives you a nice, you see, they got that little rest for your pinky. I mean, that's, it's not bad. So, I don't know what you guys think, man. Let me know if you already got this or you had it and you didn't like it. Just let me know. Yeah, it looks good to me, though. Yeah, man. So that's it. That's the that's the Magwell for the Gen Three Strike Industries. So let me know what you guys think. Quick install, and we'll just go from there, man. It's your boy Eyes and Ears Tactical. Nice little Magwell, California compliant. <laughs> All right, man. Everybody, stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Eyes and Ears Tactical. I'm out.